These Starbucks employees anxiously awaiting what turned out to be a unanimous vote to unionize. Yes! Unanimous! Yes! The store located on Broadway in Capitol Hill will be the first in Seattle, Starbucks' home city, to unionize, with at least eight other Western Washington locations filing paperwork to begin the process. It means that we can eventually go into bargaining. It means that we can eventually start to kind of stake out, you know, why we're here in the first place. The vote comes on the heels of a national effort to unionize Starbucks, with at least 140 stores filing paperwork. It points to um, a revitalization of the labor movement. Brian Watson and Sonny Rao are part of the Democratic Socialists of America. It's a group that's pushed for unions. Neither has worked for Starbucks, but chair a Starbucks worker solidarity group. One domino falling in the unionization drive is a big deal. Starbucks has pushed against unions in the past. Last year, the National Labor Board found that Starbucks unlawfully retaliated against two Philadelphia baristas trying to unionize. Last week, it announced the company's former CEO, Howard Schultz, will be its interim leader as its current CEO retires. Previously, Schultz successfully fought attempts to unionize Starbucks locations. It's really about um, just making our lives and the lives of other workers better. The Solidarity Group believes talks about unionizing go beyond Starbucks, both here in Seattle and across the U.S. But we also have Storyville Coffee that filed for union elections and Crossroads in Capitol Hill that also filed. We saw REI as well in Manhattan is unionizing too, so it's the labor movement is only gaining momentum. So the flagship uh, Starbucks roastery that is here in the Capitol Hill neighborhood, a location in Everett, as well as a location in Olympia, those are just a few of the locations that have all also filed paperwork to vote, to unionize. We have reached out to Starbucks for comment on this first store of uh, having this vote today. They did not immediately respond to our request for comment. Live in Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.